Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to react to some more music. I was trying to say, how do I transition into their title uh, from there? It didn't quite work. But we are going to listen to The Hound and the Fox and their version of Rihanna, or Rihanna. I never say it correctly. Uh, if this is the song, I think it is. It's the one that Fleetwood Mac sings. Uh, Stevie Nicks sings the lead. I don't think it's when she went solo. I think it's when she was still with Fleetwood Mac. I know she wrote the song. And other than that, I like it. I think that's all I know about the song. <laughs> so let's see what they did with it. They call this a haunting duet version. So this will be interesting. Let's check it out. They've layered themselves. She's, she's being inspired by Stevie Nicks a little bit with the sheer fabric. And she's got the ribbons hanging from her tambourine like Stevie does. To the sky like a bird in flight, who will be her lover? All your life, you've never seen a woman taken by the wind. Would you stay if she promised you heaven? Will you ever enjoying it so far they're doing a great job at it and it does sound haunting so that's cool I like when she goes falsetto. I like their layered vocals in the background of that part. Um, it definitely gives it that haunting sound. She rings like a bell Something else. <laughs> A good place to stop. Something else that I do like that they're doing with this is they are taking their time with it. It doesn't sound rushed. In fact, it almost sounds like they're purposely slowing it down in spots, although I don't think they actually are slowing it down necessarily. I think they're keeping the same beat as the original. But when they get to the, the crescendoing part, it's Almost like they're taking a breath and taking their time and not rushing it. She rings like a bell through the night. Wouldn't she love to love her? She rules her life like a bird in flight. And who will be her lover? All your life you've never seen. Oh, 
almost sounded like they were speeding it up a little bit, but not actually doing that. Off the layers again. get into the wrap up part of the song. We're almost at the end, so that makes sense. There's I, I imagine they're overlaying overlaying um, for this last part because I think they do that in the original. It's been a while since I've listened to the original. But I had two Fleetwood Mac uh, CD DVDs CDs. What were they? CDs. Actually I still have them. Because I haven't gotten rid of my CDs, just my tape cassettes. <laughs> Can't bring myself to get rid of my CDs. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think they do that on the original. I like the kaleidoscope effect that they're doing as well because it helps add that visual mystery kind of look to it. Magical. That was a lot of layering that they had uh, for the the choir, the um, chorus part. It sounded like at least three layers each. Maybe I wouldn't be surprised if it was more, but I would say at least three layers uh, for just uh, echoing the Rhiannon part. All right. Uh, they, I think they did a beautiful job on the song. It definitely was haunting. And I liked some of the visual things they did along with all the layering that they did with the song. You know, it's hard as a duet to sometimes emulate a song that was done by a band with multiple people. But, you know, as acapella has shown us, and I actually just reacted to Jared, Layering can be done. Peter has done lots of layering. So they don't layer too often, or at least not obviously layer too often. So, yeah, it was cool to hear that effect going on with them. So, liked their version of it. It was haunting. Thank you so much to Riley and Mackenzie. So, all right. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.